532. As you've been hearing from meteorologist Stacey Ann Good in the extreme and potentially life threatening heat stretching across parts of the nation now set to impact our area. As residents brace for the scorching temperatures, experts are sharing ways to stay safe. Always important to take that advice. Pix 11's Kirsten Cole joining us live from Long Island City with what you need to know. Hey, Kirsten. You know, I feel like we always need to be reminded when we get into one of these heat warnings at some point during the summer, you got to take this seriously for yourself, for the kids, especially if you're sending them off to camp for your pets. This is not the day to be going out for a nice long walk. One of the things the city is doing is by going to 311, you can find access to one of the hundreds of cooling centers. It is essential if you don't have air conditioning in your home to go and find it someplace else, especially for vulnerable adults like our elders, right? The other thing you need to know is pools, parks, and beaches all have extended hours now so that you can get access to that cooling down. Also, our electrical providers are mobilizing crews in case of demands knocking out power. That excessive heat warning takes effect today. You've already been feeling the temperatures ramping up. Those real field temperatures, as meteorologist Stacey Ann Gooden was telling you, will soar to upwards of 105 degrees across the city and parts of New Jersey. Air quality health advisories issued yesterday again today for Long Island and across the city. The city's pools are a great way to cool down as the heat drains people's energies. And remember, in extreme cases, this can be dangerous for us and our pets. We had a long day at work, and it just drains you a lot. It's very draining. Often you'll see them start panting as though they can't get themselves to calm down, or their gums really tacky or dry where normally, you know, you'd probably get a little bit of slobber or something along those lines. Here's where you could be getting into trouble if you see these signs of heat exhaustion, heavy sweating, nausea, and dizziness. You need to cool down immediately because if not, if it's not treated, it can lead to heat stroke. That can be deadly. It's marked by confusion, slurred speech, hot, dry skin, and profuse sweating. Remember, you got to stay on top of your hydration. Get on top of it. If you're going to exercise, like now's the time to be out here. You notice that there's a little bit of a breeze here. This is terrific in Long Island City along Center Boulevard, but you don't want to be exercising in the absolute extreme hot of the day. Also a big PSA for electrolytes that helps to keep the hydration on board. We're live in Long Island City. I'm Kirsten Cole, Pix 11 News. Cala, back to you. All right, Kirsten, thank you.